Hey, let's have a picnic. No. Picnic? I would prefer that this not happen. I've always wanted to have a picnic. We'll have food and nice scenery and water slides and- Sure, I think that's pretty standard. Look, you two can have your picnic. I just really don't want to be in involved. Today's discussion is, what is scary? As always, I'm your host, Bridgeburn. With me is our wonderful co-host, Bridgefall. Hey. And this is our judge, Bridgecross, who- Whatever this is, I'm not taking part in it. We shall begin by discussing our personal interpretations pertaining to the concept of fear. We hope that by the end of this thought-provoking program, you'll have a more thorough grasp on what it means to be scary. <laughs> I sure hope I will. What is fear? I have no idea. So many people give conflicting answers here. That's why I'm holding this talk. Fear, fear is the response fear. an ephemeral being may have when perceiving a threat. It consists of a physical aspect, such as sweating or shaking, and of a psychological aspect, such as an irresistible urge to flee. It's also very personalized, apparently, and not everyone responds the same way. Some find it unpleasant, while others consider it a rush. I can't confirm any of that, though. What is fear? <sighs> Some common fears are heights, public interaction, darkness, intimacy, failure, rejection, needles, public speaking, abandonment, and spiders. Do spiders actually exist? I've never seen one. You're really not going to let up on getting me to respond, are you? Fear is very personalized, like you said, but for now it's probably best to try to break it down simply into two categories, namely fear of change and fear of lack of change. Fears like heights, needles, and spiders fall under change, as they tend to be subsets of the fear of harm. People are afraid of something forcing a change on their healthy state. Other fears, like rejection, tend to stem from past trauma. It happened once, so it may happen again. This fits more as the fear of lack of change, for this person would not want to get stuck in experiencing that forever. I mean, it's almost never that simple, but overall, for people like you, this is probably the easiest way to start with it. Just keep in mind that people tend to gravitate towards what is familiar, which is why so many are avoidant of change. But I guess that if they're familiar with the negative, they may fear lack of change. But then again, the negative is sometimes so familiar, it's actually scary to experience positive change. Uh, sorry, this is too abstract a concept to try to simplify since you've never felt. Fear sounds exciting. So complex. Yeah. Too complex. I don't really care. Actually, change is scary, right? For the most part, yes. Change, or lack thereof, is often the determining factor in a lot of fears. Hmm. Hey, can I go now? Did you hear me? So if I had four arms, would I be scary? What? How about four eyes? Uh, four horns? Or maybe four mouths? Is this so scary? scary? So it wasn't scary? I'm afraid not. <laughs>